So the guy I'm raising right now is my boy Mater D's. I trained him a little bit. Mostly what I've been doing is I did not want Roll Assault. So Roll Assault has a very, very, very low requirement to get. Press, on the other hand, has a much higher requirement to get. So press priority skipping is very difficult because if I have over a combined 250 power and loyalty, I will always get Roll Assault. Which is a huge pain in the ass. So you can see me right now, I've actually been doing drills to lower my power a little bit. And then I swapped over to uh, meditate to lower my defense. But I got press. I did this off stream because I didn't want to roll for 3% 100 times. It did take me like 60 tries to get it, so that was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I've also entered a couple of tournaments, and I think I've used it enough times that I can actually go get diving press. My goal for this guy is I want to get diving press, I want to get thrusts, no, I want to get giant press, I want to get thrusts, I want to get mochi ray. Those are those are the attacks I want. It's going to be mixed attack or mochi. Because I think it's about 50-50 to get diving press and 50-50 to get um, the other one. Roll Assault. Great name, thank you. I think it's a good name. I'm pretty happy with the name. Back when I played in your childhood, I got up to year 10, 11, now in DX, you're already at 10, 41. Where, odd, how you just blazed through it? Hell yeah. Keep seeing random gentle mochi named 007. Okay, so we got Dive and Press. Now we gotta use Dive and Press 50 times. I may have to save scum a little bit. I don't want his intelligence going up much. I need to keep it below... Like, 400 is about what I'm aiming for. I think, what is it? 1400... We do 400, 400, 400, 300. That might work. What I really need is I need uh, peaches. I need to feed him peaches now. Because he's in child stage. What if both attacking stats are under 100? Then you lose the tournament. That's what happens. You know, raising a proto. What are some tips you have for using slower guts rate versions of a monster? How good does the guts correction affect what kind of attacks are good? Uh, you just can't go big on his like extremely expensive ones. But the unless you're using Huey, the difference between um, like the absolute worst hanger and otherwise best hanger, which is like Automaton or Endbringer, uh, there's not a huge difference. It's basically Huey is like way above everyone, and then everyone else is like kind of the same. Do I think Mochi can be good in this format? Probably not. I just like Gentle Mochi. Look at him, he's adorable. He's so cute. Doesn't really matter. I don't raise things because I'm like, oh, this is going to be the best. Sometimes I do. If the tournament calls for it, if it's like a format no one's ever run before, and I'm like, I want to like exploit this. Where like part of uh, the knowledge check and like the difficulty is in building the best thing that no one else would ever think of. Think he ever changes the tux? I bet he washes it every night. He's got his own dry cleaning station. Okay, so 34 guts. I can probably use four. Four around. Win or lose doesn't matter to me. I just need to use this move a lot. That's one. 49 to go. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, let me back up. Is that four? So yeah, I can use five. I can't raise his power at all, so I'm going to lose. Yeah, because I can't raise his power at all, I am going to lose all these, it's fine. Like, I'm not stressed about it. I'm just trying to use the move as many times as I can. That's three. Or is that four? Oh, that's the wrong move. No! Give me one more shot. There we go, there's the five. I have to get five moves in for it to count? No, I'm just doing the maximum I possibly can. So I've used it nine times. I gotta use it 50 times total. In order to get Giant Press. Giant Press is one of my favorite moves in the game animation-wise. Okay. Did a lot of damage. Ooh. Three. 
three. How am I tied? Did I beat Sleep Bomb? Did I beat? Oh no, did I beat Capella? I don't think I did. Did I? Oh damn. Okay. Whatever. We get an extra match. Two. Three. Was that four? Five. It's five. I'm not even paying attention. I lost. That's okay, though. All according to Kaikaku. Translator's note. Kaikaku means diving press. Raise my defense? I don't want that. I'm in a very strange situation right now. I need to use Paradoxin to lower my defense before I lower it too much and then the Paradoxin becomes useless. But I also can't use Paradoxin because I can't raise my power at all. Or else I'll get uh, Roll Assault. Okay, I'm trying to think of the best way for me to go about this. I think it's probably just to enter tournaments, have another monster on the side. Maybe we'll do that. And then I can feed him a peach once we get peaches. Okay, what do we got? Who can we just raise? Last Pro Shop's almost dead, which is really funny. You know what? We're gonna use Boss Baby. We haven't seen Boss Baby yet. He's zero years, zero months old. He's got 400 life, 400 defense. He's a real boss baby. Look at that shit. This is what you get when you mix a uh, Sweki Suezo with uh, Draco Hopper. You have a 6% chance to get this. It gives you an insane amount of life and defense. You know, um, if you really want to piss off a YouTuber, give them unsolicited advice on how to beat the algorithm. That's probably the best thing you can do if you want to like piss off a YouTuber. I don't know what my plan is with this guy. We're just killing time. His name's Boss Baby. What more do you want? I'm your manager, you're supposed to, brother. So I had somebody who's like, just a word of advice. You should probably change your uh, thumbnails to be more like this. And I'm like, what, you mean like the other 100 thumbnails I had for the Monster Rancher Battle League? And then they just never said anything. Give them unsolicited advice on how to make a better video and what they didn't like about their video. Uh, I'm a big fan of, hey, can you completely change your editing style? I don't like it. Like, okay. I've got a couple of comments like that, like, hey, your editing is too frenetic. You should really slow down. Have you ever considered leaving a five second pause after every text joke you make? I'm like, yeah, I have, and then I realized it's the dumbest possible thing I could do for my videos. My... Don't worry. You don't like it? That's okay. It's fine. Fine if you don't like it. That would throw off the pacing? Freya. I don't think you understand anything about video editing. If you think that me leaving a five second pause after every throwaway joke I make would throw off the pacing. Well, that's exactly correct. Like, I could, I could never do that. It would be so fucking stupid. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's one thing to, like, be humble and accepting advice, but sometimes the advice you're given is, like, the worst thing you've ever heard. Your thumbnails are great, especially if Fernando eats the bird. I do my best. That person definitely watches Two and a Half Men. I had uh, I had a conversation at work the other day, and one of the guys at work, it's not somebody who I usually work with, but he's like, they could never make a show like Two and a Half Men again. Oh my god, with cancel culture, you'd never be able to make a show like Two and a Half Men. <laughs> yeah, fucking... The cutting-edge sitcom Two and a Half Men that uh, was constantly pushing boundaries, you know? There's, there's one... Yeah, that's exactly correct, Vivid. Like... I don't mind if people have advice for me, right? Like, I'm not so full of myself that I think I know better than everyone about everything. Especially content creation, because I've only been doing it for like a year, right? But if your suggestion is completely change your style of editing, you gotta think. Like, you gotta use a little self-awareness with the things you ask. Two and a half bugs is a great name for color pen. Oh, that's actually really good. Toxic Nacta. Anyway, I've used it six times so far. Oh, what was I at? I was at 12 or 13. I want to say I was at 13. Or was I at 14? I'll just say I was at 13. And that was another three. So it's nine so far. 17? 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we're over halfway there. Saw an episode of Two and a Half Men Over Holiday and it was weird. It's very strange, yeah. It's it's literally, uh, well, it makes sense because it's Chuck Lorre, but I was going to say it's like Big Bang Theory for frat bros. I'm going to lose this. I just want to use my attack three times. Just There's the power. I don't need power. Fucking damn, I only used it twice? Okay. So we're at 28, though. I really don't want to advance. I really hope I miss. Wait, everyone's got two losses? I advanced to C rank? That's not good for me. I don't like this. So that's 29. Clearly I gotta get roll attack, yeah. Rem reminder, I have a hundred power, right? Like, there's another three. So we're at 31, that's not bad. I'm just worried I'm gonna get blown up in rank C instead of being able to actually attack. I don't like those stat gains. That's gonna make things awkward. June, July, August. We got quite a ways to go, so I'm just gonna freeze them until the next official. Okay, so we're just killing time with Boss Baby. Maybe we'll farm tournaments and stuff with them later. I don't really care about um, getting maximum gains or anything with this guy, so I'm just gonna do heavy drill rest, heavy drill rest. Rub your belly. You deserve it, King. You don't deserve it right now, King. What are you doing? Can't scold it because he's got a lot of stress. The stressed baby. 180 man round robin perfect bracket. I think there's like a higher chance of me getting hit by a meteor right now than that happening. And I didn't get hit by a meteor, so we all know what that means. With my luck, I would have said that, and then I would have been. So you're saying there's a chance. Exactly. For me, it's a very good chance. Will the meteor land a crit, though? Ooh. Well, I'm licking his claws. He doesn't like the tabs. What's its nature and fame? Yeah. It's a bad nature meteorite. I don't know why, but today I was just like, I want to play Monster Rancher Advance again. I haven't played Monster Rancher Advance in a while, but I really like Monster Rancher Advance 1. Advance 2 is fine too, but like, I don't enjoy it as much. The thing I don't like about number 2 is the way you get text. The way you get text in that game sucks. It's all based on your coach's stats and like, you have to line it up. There, It sucks. I don't like it at all. Crab Claw Cup? I'm, I'm just swinging. Let's just hope for the best here. This guy starts with a... 370 lifespan. I still have 306 weeks of life left, which is really good. I was thinking Anger, Grit, Fury, and Guard. Interesting. Good for a tank. And the power real goes for 1400. Yeah, I like that. This guy's got uh, Grit and Ease is what he starts with, which is enough for me. And I'll give him power. I have That's one. Uno. Two. If I lose everything, I don't get any stat gains. So it doesn't matter if I lose. I don't want the stat gains. I'm worried about going over the cap. Ooh, big crit on scratch. That's okay. Did a little bit of withering though, which sucks. We'll use it one more time. So that's just... I'll just swing it here. So, four uses there. If we can do that in the next two, we're fine. This is such a pain in the ass to have to grind this down this way. Because I can't combine with him. Can't combine to get something better. Oh, no sneezing! Okay. The easiest way to do this is just get... Could I with the DNA capsule? Have you played that fucking game, dude? I literally was, my original plan for this was to use the DNA capsule, and uh, I played for four hours, and I kept getting like 210 points, but you need exactly 220 or better, and then it's a random chance to get the one you want. I got so many perfect games, 
the issue is that um, you get dip you get different amount of points depending on the thing it tells you to do so like the add to 10 gives you 10 points if it's a double it gives you five points and then if you just do high low it's one point on each side so you can run the whole thing and never get a five or a ten and it's just not possible to actually get the number it sucks that was another four aren't there like 15 capsules too so you have to get it a ton of times yeah yeah it's uh it's not fun and to pull myself up on my bootstraps I love that saying because people use it unironically, but the whole joke about pulling yourself up by your bootstraps is that it's literally not possible. Like, that's what the saying means. RNG and Monster Rancher? I know. Ooh, there we go, big squish. I'm with the big squish. That's the second one, that's okay. Shockwave. A little, a little bitty shockwave. Straight at 36, that's pretty high. I don't like that. Okay, we got power. We can use it once. Oh, let's go. Oh, fuck. Wow, okay. That did way more than I was expecting. There's power and a crit. That was three times damage. I got third place. I did it. I don't know what the hell's happening next door, but they're just like stamping their feet. My uh, my next door neighbors have to be like the stupidest people I've ever seen in my life. Like just genuinely unintelligent. And the stuff they argue about, they argue very loudly. So like I hear the things they argue about and it's like, you guys aren't real people. This is like a sitcom. What do they argue about? Uh, I don't know recently. They used to argue about, like, this one guy was just always ripped on coke, or whatever, and he needed to stop, he had a problem, and, uh, like, which isn't, like, a funny argument, but it just used to come up all the time about how much coke this guy did, and it's like, you're, like, very loud, like, everyone can hear you, but yeah, let's go to town. You guys get to see Fernando again. What's he at? Nine years, five months? Got 12 years of week, 12 weeks of lifespan left, so he's getting close to the end. There's a special bit of dialogue when you hit 100 years, yeah. I should have saved last week. It's okay, it's just a little bit extra time going back to town. I'll save next time. Unless we just get it this time. Come on, Fernando, let's make some money. You and me, baby. Golden peach. Four golden peaches. I'm calling it. Okay. Good start. Good start. Mm. You know, four golden peaches still possible. That's two. You know, two and two hangers, that's really good. Very funny that we unfroze him at 12 weeks left. Uh, we rested him once, we did a, an expedition. He aged two months. Somehow. Uh, and uh, he literally only wasted three weeks of lifespan. And Mater D is your backup. Nine years. Couple of reasons why he's so old. The first one is that he has um, a very long base lifespan. Okay, I want to see real quickly. I can go back to baby, right? Skill am I looking? I'm looking for um, not that one. I'm not looking for roll assault. I'm looking for. Um, Giant press. There are only two heavy techs left at this point. He's only got two heavy techs in general. Mm. 
He's got the dive line and he's got the roll assault line. Or the press line and the roll assault line. Giant press is Mochi's strongest attack, other than flame, I think, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Let's go! We got the giant press. I think flame is the strongest, but this is... No, this is his strongest. It's at 45. It was almost as force. Well, less than 10 wins. There we go. Just in time, too. We can pick up a Paradoxin soon. Okay. Not bad. We got the big press. The big press. It's his birthday. Imagine getting giant press before your monster's first birthday. He's got a tux. He's better than you. So can Pixie subroots have extra default moves? I think Lilim is always going to have Bolt, for example, even if he... Yeah. So every Pixie except for the main breed one, and um, Lepus starts with Bolt as like a basic tech. My loadout is done? No. It's not... You're going to rob him? Dude, he just got giant pressed. The fuck are you going to do? You going to outrun that? You're no track star. You don't got 800 speed. You're getting giant pressed. Yeah, we're getting Mochi Ray. We're also getting uh, Thrust and 1-2 Thrust. That's the hard part of it done. We're done nice the hard catch, part. Blanco, Nino. But um, what I got to do now is I got to use Paradoxins. Got 184 skill. Oh god, that's this is gonna be so difficult. Uh Paradox and raising my skill is gonna be a pain in the ass. What do I have? I might have to go high on skill. Fuck, what's my possible my play here? My play here. Hmm. Would Troron be a possible option? No, because I'm trying to lower my defense. I don't care about raising my stats. I care about lowering my stats. One Paradoxin brings me to 89, I do believe. What am I at now? 130. I do have to go on one um, defense errantry. So, 130, minus 13, minus 11, minus 10, minus 9. I did one more. Minus 8, minus 7, minus 7, minus 6. So, I could be brought down to 59 with 2, but that'll put me at... Um, 420 skill, which is higher than I want. It puts me at about 400 power, which is what I want for power. I have to go lower on life, which I don't want to do either. This guy's stats start too high. That's the problem. We're struggling. I'm gonna make it work, but it's, it's a struggle. Okay, so what are my options now? I think my options are... I gotta get thrust right now. I need to cover up slap. And by now, I mean we're gonna go get my boy Fernando again. And then in uh, June, we'll get uh, the Silver Peach. And then I think that'll be the play. We'll do Silver Peach first. I'm not gonna raise him for six months. We'll, we'll raise the, the Kato, and then that will put me there, and then I can give him the Silver Peach, and then we can give him Paradoxin right after. Because I am, he is just child. So if I can go back another 25 weeks, that's best, you know? So I'm going to lose most of it on the Paradox it right away. I guess it doesn't matter which order I do it in. Any plans for my next Expedition Monster? I've already got him built. It's a... Uh, it's a rear ride, the Hopper Suezo. Doesn't have as much power as this guy, so I'll, I'll need to work on it. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just work on him. I'll get his power up to snuff. Okay, been jumping in and out. Do you believe Gus Regenerate is more or less important? Lower stack caps versus higher stack cap tournaments. I, I don't think it's it changes that much. I think it's about the same. Okay, there's one. Imagine you're the drug dealer just dropping off Paradoxin in here. And I, you come back once a year and your shit's just gone. I gotta find a new hiding spot. Two? I'll take two. I think Fernando returned to the Earth. His stats are too good. I can probably combine him with something. Even if the, the lineup isn't very good. So I can send him on, like, two more expeditions. I'm gonna have to use, um... My boy on, uh... 
big luck around a couple of expeditions just to get his lifespan up without actually, or to get his age up without affecting his lifespan too much. Why does it, oh, Gadok won, okay. Damn, we never get to see Gadok. Now we do. So, I don't actually have any speed. So that means Gadok can actually hit me. But it doesn't matter. Big damage. Forgot how bad my techs are on this guy. Because we only need Spike Shot. We don't need the others. Pretty easy. Gadok with those textures looks old, yeah. Hey, speed went up. More nuts oil. Okay, so we got Paradoxin. We got two, we only need one. Back to this guy. Back to this fucker. Okay, so first things first, Silver Peach. He's at 10 nature. Okay, we have to get some more techs. We gotta do a lot of stuff in like a quick order here. Can I get... Marble C, yeah, whatever. We'll just go now. It's my favorite hanger. I like Garland. I mean, to be fair, there aren't really any hangers I dislike, if I'm being honest. We only did three and he got hurt? Okay, I don't want him to get hurt, but only completing three is really good. Just playing the fuel, hoping you'd hit me with a joke. Oh. I guess I was the... I was the fool. I was Boo Boo the fool there. Hanger's a cool robot. All the subs pretty good. Exactly correct. That's how I feel. Okay, so I didn't get good gains, which is great. We're going to be child for quite a while. So much so that I might be able to actually get 1-2 thrust. But I I don't know. I don't know. We got a paradox in first. Um, I think I still have Sweet Jelly, right? Yeah. Do you like Pokemon Stadium games on N64? They were your favorites of mine. I, uh, I like them. I played, um, I challenged someone. Sorry, this one guy challenged me. Because me and my friend were going to have a money match at, on uh, Pokemon Stadium at uh, Get On My Level, which is like the biggest Canadian Smash tournament that happens yearly. There was like uh, an N64 station with like people speedrunning and stuff. And they just had like a Pokemon Stadium hooked up, and me and my friend uh, had like a $50 bet on like who would win. So we were getting ready for that, and uh, so I beat my friend. And then I went and was just like messing around with my team later, I was just looking at the loadouts I had. And this guy sits down and slaps down like 20 bucks, and he's like, I'll take you on right now. And I'm like, okay. Sure. And um, he was so fucking high. Was it Max? No. That sound like something he'd do, but it wasn't him. Um, so here's my stats, by the way. But yeah, the guy was super high, and he sits down, and he like picks Weedle and Metapod and uh, Caterpie and like Ditto. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? He's like, let's go. And then I beat him, because obviously, and then he shakes my hand and gets up and leaves. He just gave me $20. I'll take that money. Like, announcers, sparks are flying from both sides. They're staring each other down. It was pretty funny. It's a crazy story. I had friends who were watching and they're like, what the fuck just happened? We got minus 14 nature. We can start doing these. I need three and fours as my drop defense so this is going to be a little bit oh my god we got a four immediately let's go 
So if you're trying to lower both intelligence and defense, this is the number you're looking for because you end up with a net loss in those two. Defense went down by more than intelligence went up. It's pretty important. Was the new turn he announced? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I scolded it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's really bad. That's okay. So, um... The reason you don't scold it is because it brings its nature down, which means there's a better chance for it to cheat. So, I fucked that up, but we're just gonna rest this week anyway. Got a reset? I, I'm taking the minus four. I'm taking the hit to lifespan I took, too. Like, it's okay. I'll deal with it. You guys ever do this as a kid? I used to do that shit all the time. I don't know why. I don't know why I found it funny. Drove your dad nuts, I believe it. I, I think I told this story on stream before, but I had this weird issue with the way my... Um, my PlayStation was originally hooked up to my TV. Where the, the volume on the TV didn't control the volume of any games that came out. So you could like go minimized on audio. You could bring your audio all the way down to zero on the actual TV and it wouldn't change the volume output from the PlayStation. And like I'm in AV now and I'm not sure why. I'm sure if I were to look at it, that same TV in that same situation, I could figure it out pretty quickly. But like as a child, I had no idea why. So if I ever wanted to play this game, it would always blast at full fucking volume for the first like the PlayStation logo and then uh, the first little bit of menuing. And then I would have to go into the menu and turn the volume all the way down. And so if my dad was like sleeping on the couch, I would have to put like pillows up against the 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 speakers on the TV, or else like it would just blast the PlayStation logo, which is obviously like a million decibels. That shit's the loudest thing on record. Nine? Can I accept a nine? I'm gonna accept that one. It's probably gonna bite me in the ass later, but we do have a little bit of room to play with. Never really ran into that. It's it's a very um, specific problem. It's not a thing I've seen on any other TV ever. So I don't know if it had like a different control for things that were like oxed into it or whatever. I don't know. I don't... Like I said, like that's what I do for a living now. Like solve problems like that. And I don't know. I don't know what could have caused it. Okay, I'm getting minus threes, which is okay. But I don't want the plus nine. I don't want many plus nines. I'll take a plus seven. That's fine. We'll do that. I'm worried about my, my skill going up too much, though. The thing is, when you're doing this, it's all about the ratios. It doesn't matter how much your intelligence goes up or goes down. It's more so about how much does it go up in conjunction to how much defense goes down. Like, a nine, a plus nine and a minus three is way better than a plus eight minus two is, for example. We're not going to be doing a ton of magic banana stuff, but just want to get a couple out of the way. Do I not want a lot of intelligence? Can I explain the build? Yeah, okay. So the build I'm doing is for a 1400 stack cap tournament. But the stipulation for 1400 stack cap is that um, your second attacking stat is free. So whatever you get your main attacking stat up to, your other one can be the same and it doesn't count towards the cap. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to minimize defense all the way down to one while keeping intelligence under 400. Because if I keep intelligence under 400, I don't have to worry about taking points away from something else. Gator D's is a stand-up mochi, he doesn't cheat. He's doing his best, you know? Even against my wishes. We gotta beat rank C with these stats. I don't like these stats. We're beating rank C. We're adolescent again? Okay, so that might be a little bit difficult to achieve what I'm trying to achieve here now that... Well, you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It just depends how much defense goes up by once we do uh, the air entry. I don't think we can get 1-2 uh, thrust unless we go very late in life. Either way, we're going to try and use it a couple of times. 63 miss? I'll take that. That makes sense. Fast forward's too fast sometimes. Okay, you gotta you gotta go faster than that, Mater D's. There you go. 82, I'll take the damage, not too bad. Anchor. Diving press. Big smoosh. I don't want the big smoosh. Two 
too fast, too forward. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo drifting my way into B rank right now. So an important thing about competitive play is making sure your techs are set up the way you want them to be set up, because they'll stay this way once you go into 1v2. So I got Giant Press live, which is what I want. I got Thrust live, which is what I want. One. Two. Withers quite a bit. I'm not stressed about that. Five. Uh, uh, uh. We're gonna try to use it 50 times anyway, just so I can make the the audible later on. Six. So we can use it about seven or we can probably use it eight times a match, which isn't enough to do it in one tournament. It would be well, yeah, it would be if I got eight on every single person. That'd give me 56. I could get it in one, but. We only use it like twice on the call, and we only used it like five times on Hayu, so. Gigantic veiny testicle. I think you should see a doctor. I think that's what that is. Big damage on the punch. I'll take it. I'll accept it. Okay, he's gonna dodge my thrust. I don't like that. I don't like that I've only got 50%. Bomb strike misses. Ooh. Meat never worth it. I mean, it's not fantastic numerically. It makes your monster really fat, so it definitely has a lot of uses. It is technically the second best food as far as, like, uh, stress reduction goes, but cup jelly is almost as good and it's way cheaper. It's half the price. There we go. I want 1-2 thrust. 1-2 thrust isn't good, but it gives me a little bit of a control game. A tiny bit. It's like plus 14 hit or something like that. For 27... The thing is, it costs 27 guts, right? And it only has 15 force. It's not good, but it does a little bit of everything. And when a move does a little bit of everything and it's very, very accurate, you can usually make it work. I wanted to use Tasty Banana. Oh, it's gonna sneeze on me. Ah, oh, he sneezed! Get out of here, Warren Mo. He's got 30% on it. I like those odds. Okay, so I'm tanking the hits not too bad because I got a lot of guts. 60% on press. Give me not a lead, but yeah, exactly. Puts me in a good spot. I can run down the clock with this, I think. Yep. See you later, monkey man. Love technical problems at work. Out of work from home setup, now you can just play. <laughs> Yeah, see ya. I'm gonna go do something else. I don't want to put this bad juju on myself, but the worst thing that could happen is I get like plus 10 defense here. I would fuck up my whole day. I just need my defense to not go up by much. If it does. Like, 4 or less, I can make it work, I think. I mean, I'll take it. My intelligence went up too, which kind of sucks, but... On rice cracker? Yeah, okay. Okay, so he is adolescent, so I'm a little bit worried about um, how high his defense is going to go up by. Because he's got great defense gains. Ten? Fuck. 
I think we're doing this end of life. No, we're not doing this now. Because now I'm at a point where I literally need... No. That's not working. So what we're going to do... I'm going to get defense down to 1. I'm going to work on my other stats. Then we're going to feed him to Geals to get him into old age. And then... Um, once he's in old age, we'll go back. And we'll get really crappy stat gains. Gentlest gains, yeah, it's just regular mochi gains. Which are very good. Najeel is a thing you use in battles, and what it does is it gives you like a 50% boost to your speed and power and things like that. Um, there's a couple of drugs that do that. But, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so lowers it by 20. This feels wrong. Whatever, he's doing fine. The thing is, once I make him for tournament, I can't ever use him again, right? If I take him out and put him back in, or like fuck up his stats or whatever, it uh, ends up being kind of a pain. So, it's fine. It's not a big deal. You're too soft? Yeah, maybe. He used, used to love TCGs, but fell out when the in thing was it's a power creep every franchise. Bro, that's literally been uh, the, the way since the beginning. Even, uh... With the exception of maybe the very first set of MTG, because, you know, they didn't know what worked and what didn't, and what was strong and what wasn't. So the absolute first set was just full of bonkers bullshit. Like Channel Fireball and things like that. But, uh... Every set has, like, power crept every other set for the most part. Pokemon is, like, especially egregious because it became... started getting made by a different, uh, publisher. And they're like, we want our cards to be way stronger than the original set. And so they did that on purpose, so you would buy the new ones. They were in Adolescence 2. Pokemon TCG's Garbo, I think it's pretty fun. It, it's, it's, like, dumb. But I enjoyed it when I played it. Like, people talk a lot about, like, old Yu-Gi-Oh! And about how much fun old Yu-Gi-Oh! was, and it's like... Old meta Yu-Gi-Oh was fucking insane, it's just you and your friends had really shitty decks, and you're like, I hope I draw my good thing. But like, old, old Yu-Gi-Oh was like, solved. Every deck was the exact same. Every deck had three tomatoes, every deck had... Uh, three witches, three sangans. I don't know, it was... It was not a lot of fun. I went to a couple of competitive, like, actual tournaments for Yu-Gi-Oh! In, like, 2001? 2002? Someone's called Beatdown? That's literally all the deck was. That's every single deck. Super boring. I do think TCGs are really fun when you and your friends just have a bunch of random bullshit. And, like, you don't know, you don't have anything good. And you've got, like, one good card and you're like, I hope I draw it. Like, that's fun to me. But also, like, I understand why that's not fun to everybody. Used to play Six Samurai. Six Samurai is a fun deck. I had, uh, I had a Thousand Eyes Restrict before that became banned. And I don't think it's banned anymore because it hasn't gotten any support in, like, 20 years. But, yeah, that shit was pretty oppressive when it first came out. I actually had a bunch of, like... Like, I had a semi-competitive uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck. And I remember I left it in my desk at school one day, and then I ran back to go get it, and it was gone. And I was like stressed out about it because it was the last day of school. And I'm like, oh my god, someone stole it on the last day of school, I'm never going to find it. And one of my friends was like, oh, I think I saw that. I think I saw it. And uh, I didn't realize it was yours though, I just put it in my locker, so I'll go get it for you. And so I was like, oh, that's great. And all of a sudden, I had no stress, and it was the best thing... And just, like, weight had lifted off my chest. And then I went and got the cards from them. And they are like, yeah, this is how I found it. This is how I found it. And it had none of the rare cards in it. Anything that was hollow or better was just missing. And I was like, okay, that's strange. Why did they leaf through it? And, uh, you happen to have all of the cards except for the rare ones. That's very peculiar. And then I was like, You stole these. You stole these. And he's like, No, I didn't. You can check my locker. 
But the thing is, when he said he was going to go get the cards, he left for like 20 minutes. So he definitely went home and then came back because he lived close to the school. And to this day, fuck that guy. Nah, I hope he's doing okay. You know, it's, it's a long time to hold a grudge. But uh, it, it was very, very scummy shit. And I'm upset about the fact he stole like what is essentially like $400 from me. But, you know, I'm not going to die angry about it. He, he did lie to my face. We were in 8th grade, so you know, people make mistakes, but it was very shitty. How many more stats do I have left to play with on this build? Not a whole lot. Um, getting defense down is tedious, but you know, it's not difficult. Power is 5 away from where I want it, speed's about 60 away from where I want it. Um, skill might go over. I'm worried about that. That's why I haven't raised my life anymore. I usually don't worry about 100% loyalty, or 100 loyalty, I should say, because for the most part, your uh, as far as like foolery goes, foolery is the most important reason to have high loyalty. Once you have over 80, uh, the difference stops existing. 80% gives you a 1% chance to do foolery, and it never lowers after that. Loyalty gives you a higher chance to get battle specials. So, you know, getting to 100 does matter, but it's like an additional 2% of proc power or grit or something like that over 80. So it doesn't end up mattering that much. Okay, so power is exactly where I want. I think we're going to start meditating again. Hopefully we can get some cheats. We're pretty close to the end of the stream. Which is nice. Your battle for the last 20 minutes? I might just do that instead of this. Normally, when I'm uh, save scumming, I just, um, I like watch YouTube and do it or something. I don't actually do it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this for another four minutes. We'll go into 1140 and then I'll do a couple of viewer battles. It's not like cheating. This guy fucking hates cheating. Normally you don't have to go this hard, you know? But if you guys are like, oh, like a hundred, like why do you make it so stats under a hundred don't count? And it's like, this is why, because nobody wants to do this shit. There's a cheat, I'll take that. There'll be at least one arrowhead, or definitely will. Arrowhead's a really great monster. I really like him. Both competitively. Oh, you guys want to see something? I'm going to do this once. Because I got to show off my boy. Nighton was nice. What about Arrowhead? Look how adorable he is. That's been a lot of tens. Could be the run, maybe. This is actually really good so far. Need more tens though. Give me more tens. Oh my god, if I get it on my first try, that'd be wild. I'm still a ways away though. I did it? Oh, let's go first try? I was bitching about this. I got one wrong at the end. Oh my god. Oh! 227? Let's go see what we got for a capsule. We got one wrong at the very end because I freaked out, but... We did it. Arrowhead teaches math. Arrowhead taught me math there. This is fun. Sometimes the game just crashes here. This is very poorly coded. I remember when I was trying to play it, it was the same way on the port. I couldn't figure out how to make it work on the port because it was Japanese, right? And so when it was in Japanese, I thought I was doing it incorrectly. But it turns out I'm not doing it incorrectly. It turns out it's just fucking coded terribly and it just crashes all the time. I got 60 gold. I got a DNA capsule. Oh. 
But what kind of DNA capsule did we get? I fucking hate this game. Damn voice Macho, I swear to Christ. I'm gonna drive all the way down to Virginia and kick you right in the dick. Yeah, that's gentle mochi. Joke is the pink DNA capsule nice gives you gentle catch, mochi. Blanco, Nino. Or the D and D <laughs> DNA, but yes. Yeah, they're secret seasonings. Is it better than mine? The difference is I can get more battle specials on it. I can get Fury, I can get Hurry, stuff like that. I got free YouTube content? I guess I did. Desire sensor hits differently. I tried for hours. I tried once. I didn't even get perfect. 227. That's by far the best I've got. I think this means that I can make him um, without having to grind out to get these. Be a lot easier. I'll grind off stream. I, I'm so just perturbed by that. So, not the exact same rule set, but they do have the same like 500 and no stats above 500, 1400 total. It's just that Cool Lobster doesn't have a mixed attacker set. He would like to have 450 intelligence because he'd be able to tank hits from the intelligence side a little bit better, but it's such a negligible amount that it barely matters. What is this format? Uh, 1400 stat cap, your uh, secondary stat, uh, attacking stat, doesn't count towards the cap. So, for example, Mochi's power stat is basically given to him for free. That's a cool lobster. I wonder if you found it in the summer months. He might have. I hear that's where you find cool lobsters. Okay. Instinct 64%. Still a pretty good chance. Mochi rate at 88 though. Decent damage, a little bit of withering there. It's cool lobster. God. I wonder why cool lobster has. Oh, he has 450 skill. Yeah. Wait. Oh, it, you know, it might be Guts Correction too. I'm kind of confused as to why he has such a good chance to hit, if I'm being honest. Power Claw Assault? That's going to kill. Do we see Grit? We do. Mochi Red 91. Ooh, the Grit comeback. Would I have added any int text to the Lobster? I would not have. Let me check, make sure. Yeah, I've got Maximum Skinny. So... So I'm very confused, if I'm being honest, as to why Cool Lobster has plus 18. Hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look something up real quick. So he should have minus eight. Uh, monster tech, not including uh guts correction. Arrowhead. Starts off as plus 19. So it's... That seems crazy. How many tiers is that? 11, 19, 17, 15, 13, 4. So it's 4 tiers up. Um... I guess that makes sense. Minus 8 plus 8. If each tier is 2% chance to hit, additional 2% chance to hit at 50. Um, is that, I thought it was 1% though. I thought it was an additional 1% at 50. So maybe they made that stronger. Maybe it's just my brain playing tricks on me and I'm misremembering. Either way. Oh, it's 64. Okay, so minus 5. Yeah, okay, you know what? That lines up. That makes sense. Thrust for a little bit of damage. Thrust is not a great tech. Thrust plays control. You hit three thrusts in a row. Look at that. Cool Lobster only has six guts more than his opponent, but he's at half health. The other stats have to be below 10 or not to count. Um, no, they, they just straight up count. That, that three points I have counts. Ooh. The long punch, but there's the grit. I think Giant Press is the only thing that can kill right now. Oh no, don't use Headbutt. You're Mater D's fan. 
You're hoping he's not using a headbutt right now. Punch? Punch is just going to finish it off. He's getting the Gert. I can only Gert against myself, I know. To be fair, a cool lobster grits quite a bit. That's one all. Instinct opener. You can kill on a crit. Mochi Ray, big crit there, 169 damage, decent amount of withering. Ooh, that miss is going to hurt Cool Lobster. He did not need to go that hard. He did not need to go that big. Slap. Not going to do a lot of damage. And no withering. Basics blow. <laughs> They're so fucking bad. Oh my god. Boss out lands. He's almost dead. Got enough guts to attack. He's got power. Mochi rate 96% with power. No, he's going to slap instead. No, he's not even going to slap. He's going to headbutt. He's going to miss at 81%. Slap at 85%. That lands. One more. Not enough to kill. Oh, there's power. Another slap. Wow. And there's the grit. All my boys gritting. ABG, always be gritting. Always be gritting. Gently pet to death. That pet was too hard. 2-1 for the moch. You guys, I see you guys giving me shit in Tangents chat for constantly talking about how bad Cool Lobster is and and while he's doing well, but it's just because everybody else is new. This is not a good monster. Oh, Instinct missed at 64%. Minus 7 on the slap, that's actually a really good roll for it. I just fed your Joker Gold Peach. I'm giving him a Silver Peach as well. What should I do when I feed the Silver? Um, 25 weeks after. You fed him the Gold Peach. So 6 months after. You're just biased towards Arrowheads? I mean, he's very good. Like, Arrowhead's very good. My build is good. But, like... Statistically, I could have gone a lot harder. I could have gotten rid of um, Tail Swing. I could have re-rolled a little bit more to get better techs. Anyway, Mochi wins. Look at that.